welcome back. This is Jeff with Online Cubase Tutorials. And in this video, what we're going to do is we have this baseline that we made with Retrolog and we're going to create an FX channel and we're going to route that um, bass sound to the FX channel uh, to create the delay sound that we had going in the in instrument so that we have our own track for it. I'm going to go in here and right click and say add effects channel. And you can pick the effect right here. And we're going to do the delay. And it's a ping pong delay. So you can use the one in the VST. I turned that off. And we're going to create a ping pong delay that we have better control over. And we can put automation on in its own lane. So the track name is the delay track. Add that. And you can see it pops up with its own thing here. And I'm going to actually move the FX channels above the group tracks. Because I use them um, as a send effect. I'm going to color that as a... Uh, call it 13 so the delay let's see is that 14 yeah 14 so the delay now is editable by uh, clicking let's see where is it you can see it's basically created this insert here so if you click the E to edit it pops up with the ping pong delay and we want to do a dotted quarter and it's going to ping pong, but you won't hear anything right now because we don't have, whoops, because we don't have anything routed to the delay. So um, I'm going to go ahead and press play. And for now, I'm going to actually um, mute the kick and I'm going to mute the, um, the hi-hat as well. Actually, a better way to do that would be um, to mute the drum track. So I have a uh, separate uh, group track for the drums, so we can just mute the drums right now. Now we're just hearing only the uh, the bass. You can see it's Retrolog MIDI and the sound here. So we'll call this bass so it's clear. And now how do I route the sound to this delay? So you edit this channel and FX tracks are send effects. So if you come over here to the sends, there's the delay right there. Now it's still not hearing it because it's not turned on. Okay, so now there's all kinds of delay coming in there. And if I stop it, you hear how long that, that um, feedback is. So we're going to crank the feedback down. Still pretty long. All right, now if you notice, we're actually uh, clipping a little bit. Um, there's a, you can hear the little pop in the audio. We got to the, the top of our processor for some reason right there. Um, probably because I'm recording a video at the same time that I'm I'm doing the uh, the sound. Um, you can little click that little red indicator once that happens, and it will um, disappear. And we'll play it again and just see where that's coming from. All right, so that sounds pretty good. Um, maybe a little bit less, like a, like a nine. And here it's synced as well. So now we've replicated that delay. And the cool part is that we can mix. Sorry, open that back up. We can mix. This is like a little fader here. So we can mix how much of the sound is going to the delay. Let's do that again. Okay, not a lot now. That sounds pretty cool. So it's pretty powerful and we can mix the amount of delay that's coming into the whole track with its own volume control. And you can see that in the mixer, we now have a, 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 a delay track where we can bring fader automation into the amount of delay coming into the main mix. So I might actually go back and hit F3 again. I might go back here to the bass for the send effect, crank this up just a hair. Because what we can do is 
bring that in uh, change the volume by changing the volume on the the uh, the delay effects track itself Let's see how that sounds maybe just a little bit more yeah, that's pretty noticeable right there so we'll, we'll go with that for now and now you know how to use an FX channel as a send effect the cool part about this is that now other instruments in the same song can also use the same delay and everybody gets to share that same delay and we can save on our on our CPU. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.